I am at the Grant River Recreation Area. There is a, well, I'm along the Mississippi, and we have a fairly large campground we're going to check out, give you a tour of. Um, this is run by the Army Corps of Engineers. $20 per night, orange sites. $14 per night, yellow sites. I assume that means non-powered tent sites. All sites are reservable, 14-day limit. And the scheme of things in Wisconsin, I am way south on the Mississippi River. In the scheme of what the Army Corps of Engineers has, as far as recreation areas, we are way on the north end. So in their list here of different recreation areas, we are number one at the very top of the map. So we have a campground and we are right on the Mississippi sandwiched between the railroad tracks and the water. So let's go take a look around, get a tour of this campground. I am starting from the way north end of the recreation area where there is general parking for day use up here. There is a boat ramp off to my right. Uh, I might stop down there to take a look at those water lilies later after the tour. And I'll show you what that boat ramp is like. But first, let's take a look at the campground. The entrance is on my left. Come in from that way and you come past the bathrooms and showers and right there is the river straight ahead and that puts you down into the campground no parking on the grass and starting off right away on my left in the camp one of the campground host spots is site number one and I'm going to make the first inner loop here there's a bunch of little cross loops that's site two in front of me site three on my left these have water and electric site four on my right site five is over on the left site six on my right these are wide open fresh cut tree no trees here eight on my right 10 straight ahead right now. Seven is on my left. These are all back end sights. You can see they hold a fairly large rig. Nine on my left. 12 on my right. 11 on my left. So they're fairly open. The ones on my left here, especially nine, does have some midday shade. But other than that, they're pretty open. This is Army Corps of Engineer. Um, managed site you reserve it at recreation.gov there is a phone number to call as well because you may not have internet down here I do not it's a nice shady parking on the right by the camp by the uh, playground this first site on my left now does have some nice shade it all depends on if you need solar or not but there's power here so you probably don't so that site with the shade that had the little camper in it is 13. 14 is straight in front of me. The little camper there with a the white truck is at 16. 15 is on my left. All of these are they're fairly tight. Have a fire ring, picnic table. 18 on my right, 17 on the left. 20 on my right. 19 up ahead on the left in the sh with a little bit of shade. 22 on my right with some morning shade. 21 up ahead on the left there. 24 on my right with the RV and vehicle in it. That's a nice small size. It's 24 so that gets some shade in the afternoon. 25 on my right will I get some morning shade but that's it. 23 on my left here on the end. And all of these back up to the neighbors too. Pet area is over on my right. So that's where you want to go walk your dog. That's 
go back around again. None of these are what I would say waterfront sites. They're all internal waters over to my right. Um, please like and subscribe. And if you su subscribe to my channel, you'll see future videos where I will be at some riverfront camping along the Mississippi coming up that do have sites on the water. Okay, so that was the last loop I just passed. Coming up on the final section here, I think. I guess, well, 28 would be as close to waterfront as you get. Um, but you're still got a public space between you and it. 27 on my left. Oh, we do have another little loop before we go to the other one. So let me just talk you through. Over on the right there is 20, is 30. The one with the little, or the big teardrop is 32. 29 is on my left. 40 is the one with the fifth wheel over there on the outer loop. 31 on my left. 34 on my right. 33 on my left. I will have to make another pass here to get the outer loop. 36 on my right. 35 on my left. 38 on my right. Now there is some shade in this little stretch here. 37 on my left. They haven't cut down all the mature trees over here. I'm looking at all these tags. They all have reservations for the weekend. But I am here on Wednesday right now, so there's plenty of sites midweek. But this place is kind of booked up for the weekend. Let me correct myself. All these sites have electric. Uh, there's only a few spots that have water. There's more of water spigots throughout. And there are no dump stations at the sites. You have to go to the dump station. There is one on site, but you'll have to drive over there. And I see a lot of people have their little wheeled black tanks to do that for them. All right, coming back around, 28 on my right, 30 on my right, 32 on my right. Ah, that's what I was missing. There's another road going s south that I had missed before. Okay, 40 on my left with a fifth wheel, a little parking area. Here. 41 on my left there fairly large not really level then we have 42 and 43 and over that way before the garbage over there but we're gonna go down a little further I don't want to make another loop here but uh, 42 has got good shade and a fairly large site just past a vault toilet and there's a whole nother section down here away from that first side, sub section so it looks like they could close off part of this campground at different times well, again all these have power got 44 on my right you probably can't see that too well these are nestled into the trees 46 over there you can probably start to see them now uh, 45 and 47 are out in the Sun 48 on my right here and 49 straight ahead on the end all of them have got some shade but the Sun is that is the north side got 50 on my left these look like newer sites 51 on my left these are paved right up to the fire ring 60 straight ahead we're gonna go through this loop here I got 52 on my left uh, we're getting to some gravel sites again 59 on my right 53 on my left gets a little bit of shade. Both of these get some shade to them. T 
continuing this loop around. We got well, we got to go back down again, but 58 on my right, 54 on my left was a back end right there. 55 on my left with a fifth wheel there. 57 on my right, right on the edge of the trail. 56 on my left. Now, this is not gonna be easy for me to make that second loop. It's only meant for you to come in once. As you can see, this is sort of a doubling back. That's why I have a small vehicle compared to everybody else. I wouldn't wanna try that with a trailer. But I got you to see that uh, end spot there. Now this section is pretty full right now. So plan ahead for these. Like I said, recreation.gov is where you reserve these sites. A little marshy out here along the river. Nope. We got a horseshoe pit. Swings, 60 on my left, 61 after that there with the, tra with the travel trailer. Some more parking here. I think now we're getting into beyond here are tent sites. So those that parking there is for the tent sites. So I see a series out there of 66, 64 straight ahead, 65. Those are all walk-in tent sites out there. There's a whole series of them down there. Uh, 62 on my left with the uh, bigger RV here. 63 just past that. A little vault toilet. Let's see, that's 63. Wow, some of these are really, really big. Oh, no, that's actually the driveway. That's why I'm confused. And that is Grant River Recreation Campground. Now, just so you know, straight ahead there are the railroad tracks. You will hear trains here regularly, day and night. Here on my right, near the entrance, is the dump station. Since there are no hookups on site. But there is a full shower building here for the campers. I almost forgot, promised you a boat ramp tour. There are fish. Don't ask me what kind. But kind of an interesting uh, path out. You're going to have to create your own path. So that was Grant River Recreation Area Campground run by the Army Corps of Engineers. We are just north of Dubuque on the Wisconsin side of the river. The towns aren't exactly right nearby, but they are a short drive away. Uh, as soon as you leave here, cross the tracks, get up to the next road, there is a plethora of signs telling you what is available in those towns. Thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next journey.